Good morning, students. How are you doing? I want to believe that you are doing fine and you are staying home, staying home and staying safe. All right? Now, this morning we are going to be discussing biology and we are going to be discussing the uniqueness of man. The uniqueness of man. My name is Mr. Evans Olise. Now, when you talk about the uniqueness or uniqueness, what does it mean? When we say that something is unique from these other things, what are we talking about? Maybe, for instance, we have five dresses, five dresses, and you pick one, and you say this one is unique. What does that mean? It means that this one is just special. This one is just one of its kind. All right? This one cannot be compared to the other four. This one cannot be equal, cannot be graded as the likes of others. So this one is just too special, too, too, too special, too, just too non-equal to others. All right. So that is what I'm just trying to bring. I'm just trying to let you know different synonyms that could be used for uniqueness. When you say some, someone is unique, what does it really mean? It means that from its peer, okay, from its group, from it pair, it therefore means that this very one is just not, cannot be compared to others. So that's what we mean by uniqueness. Alright? Now, we, are looking, we want to look at the uniqueness of man. Of course, you know that man is an animal, just like every other animal. But man is, an higher, is a higher animal. Okay? He's a higher animal. Alright? He's a higher mama. So we want to look at what makes man different in as much that it is also an animal. What makes it different from other animals? What makes it unique? What makes it special from other animals? Okay? Why is it not graded as equal to other animals? Why can't it be compared to other animals? Since it is also an animal. Okay? So that is what we want to look at now. All right. Specific objective says at the end of this lesson you should be able to define uniqueness, state the characteristics of the uniqueness of man compared to other animals. All right, that's what I just said. We want to look at why man is different from other animals. So fine, uniqueness. What is uniqueness? The state of being the only one of its kind, being peculiar, unequal, and unmatched. Remember, I've, I, I gave the I gave the explanation before we we even looked into this specific objective. Uniqueness means a state of being the only one of its kind. As in, this one it does not have it does not have a second it does not have a second. All right, so it is too unique. It cannot be compared to these other ones. It is. It is the only one of its kind. As in, it, what we are trying to say is that of that very kind, you cannot have two of it. Do you understand it? So that is what we are trying to talk about here. Of, its, of that very species, of that very kind, you can't have two of it. You can't find it anywhere. This one is just one and only of its kind. That's what we are talking about. So that is the meaning of uniqueness, being peculiar. Oh, calm. It is just non-equal. It cannot be matched with the other ones. That's the meaning of uniqueness. Okay? And we are looking at the characteristics of the uniqueness of man. Number one. Now, these are some of the features or characters that makes man unique and special from other animals. Number one, reasoning. Two, problem solving. Three, long childhood. Four, speech. Five, ability to walk upright. Six, ability to wear clothes. There are so many others which I even gave you as an, as, uh, as an assignment at the end of this lesson. And you are going to forward it to my WhatsApp number. I believe that you guys have my WhatsApp number by now because I've given other assignments before now. Okay? So, these are some of the characteristics that makes a man unique compared to other classes of animals. So we have a lot of them, but let's look at the six. Now reasoning. What is reasoning? The act of thinking about something in a logical way. Okay? The act of thinking about something in a logical way. In a logical way. 
Okay, high reasoning. We're just trying to say high thinking. Okay, high thinking, high level of thinking. Are you with me? How to think out, break, as in how to break forth through some stuffs. But that is reasoning. Take for instance now. Take for instance, you uh, maybe uh, there is there is there is where you live. There there is uh, the 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 ground is somehow sloopy that when rain falls, the flood, this kind of flood, okay, that 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 blocks the entrance to your home. And now you begin to reason. You begin to sit down and you begin to carve some some mechanism that will be able that you can add in that you can create all right that you can come up with all right that can bridge this problem you begin to think you have you start thinking creatively all right so creative thinking critical thinking that's reasoning animals don't do that all right animals work with their instinct okay so these are some of the uh, 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 characters that makes a uh, 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 man special, unique, compared to other animals. I want to believe that you are following what I'm saying. Problem solving. The, problem, the process of finding solutions to difficult or complex issues. I just talked about erosion, uh, the stop, where, where the place is flooded, water is flooded, and you cannot have access to your house. And you began to sit and you began to calf, come up with creative ideas on how to channel this water to another, to another, to another, to channel this water to another location so that it won't just dump in, in front of your house. So these are some of the characters that make a man, that makes man, man to be different from other animals. So they think how to solve problems as in complex, difficult, and critical problems. Animals don't do this. Other animals don't do this. Now, long childhood. Humans must remain in the care of their parents for much longer than other living organisms. You know, when you give birth to a child, okay, before the child becomes an adult, it takes 18 good years. The age for an adulthood is from 18 years. So for good 18 years, from zero, from zero, from the day the child was born to the day he, 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 he or she becomes 18 years, that period has been in childhood. From being a toddler to being a, 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 a child to being a teenager to being a youth and so on. So that has all been childhood. And you see, when a dog is born, or a goat is born, or any other animal is born, it doesn't take that long before the, 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 the animal gets matured. It doesn't take 18 years, all right? <laughs> By 18 years, the animal must have, is dead and gone. So, you see, it takes every other animal before they get to maturity. It takes just a few periods of time. But that of a human takes 18 good years before the child could be a, 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 an adult. Matured enough to be called an adult. So, 18 good years, the child is still under the care of the parent. It's not so with other, uh, it's not so with other animals. Now, speech. The ability to speak fluently. Like now, I'm talking to you, you can hear me, and you can talk back, and I'll hear you. Is there any animal that does that? Animals communicate, of course, I know that, but can you hear the language of the animals? Is it fluent? Is it understandable? No. So, human possess a descended hyoid bone. This is a bone under the word, under the thumb. Okay? Which is not attached to any bone in the body, which allows us to articulate words when speaking. Is a bone under the thumb that helps us to speak is not conjoined to any other part of the bone, any other bone in the body. So this helps us to articulate words properly well when speaking. Separate words. 
You can hear me firmly. So these are the characters that human being possesses that makes them different from other animals. Ability to walk upright. Wow. Now, get it, get it straight. Not ability to stand upright. There are some other animals that could stand upright. Other primates. Okay? But man or human is the only animal that could walk upright. Humans are unique from other primates in walking upright. Clothing. Humans are the only animals that wear clothes which makes them unique. That wears clothes, wear clothes, which makes them unique. Which animal wears clothes? Which other does good clothes? Dog? Do they wear clothes? But a uh, uh, human is the only animal that wears clothes. You can see I'm putting on a cloth, you are putting on a cloth, you are, you are not naked like every other animal created born naked and that is how it continues its life its lifetime okay so these are some of the characters that makes man special unique non-compared non-equal not matched to any other organism now look at your assignment discuss other unique characters of man compared to other animals. So don't give me the six I gave you. Give me others. As many as you can think of. Just research on it and give me a lot of others. Okay? God bless you. Stay safe. And make sure you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you and God bless you.